So, <clears throat> my most asked question at time is, what is the app you used to edit your videos? I've been asked a couple of times from different people, what's the app you used to edit your videos? Well, I just want to answer this question today. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, JR Not, and I'm back again with another late video. Hope you all are doing good. Well, into this video i'm actually like um it's kind of a useful video because i really have i got a lot of people asking me a lot of questions like jay how do you shoot videos how do you edit your videos how do you like get a whole lot of stuff done so i decided to actually come through and make a whole video like to break stuff down how i try to do how i do things my way and create contents and posting contents, editing and the whole stuff, how I managed to get stuff done. So that's why I came through this video. I hope it's gonna be helpful. It's gonna be helpful and useful to a whole lot of people. A lot of people gonna learn from this. And uh, and I'm also working on like improving on, like on a daily basis, improving on editing, improving on videoing and everything. So. So hope you're gonna like the video, hope it's gonna be useful to you. So stay tuned, watch the end of the video and keep supporting, keep showing the love you may showing since they won't really appreciate. So stay tuned without wasting much of your time. We're just gonna ride into the video. Alright, so <clears throat> first of all, like like we still on this journey and felt like carrying a lot of people along too. Like people won't really wanna learn, wanna get down to it. So first of all, before thinking of getting into content creating the first thing you just want to do is get equipment and getting the right stuff it's really going to help you for me i started like even this video i'm doing with my smartphone i'm shooting the video with my smartphone first of all you want to get the right equipment you're going to get needed mic okay <clears throat> first equipment you're going to need normally a smartphone for a start a smartphone a really good smartphone they love iphones they're really good camera that can really cover you a long way so a smartphone for one is gonna go a long way and when shooting with your smartphone you don't keep your phone like a, a vertically you kind of place it horizontally that's a youtube range that's a youtube if you want to create contents for youtube you have to keep your phones horizontal uh, horizontally yeah so that's how you place your phone when you want to shoot videos for YouTube, and, okay? Yeah, talking of a mic, you're gonna need a mic, so something like this, or depending on your studio and depending on the kind of content you're creating out there, depending on your studio, like I said, and the kind of content, if you want to like do interview and all the rest, but I still feel like a tiny mic like this can really go a long way, can really help in a lot of stuff there, because there are mics like they have dual, dual mics that you can really like connect it to two people and there are also wireless mics too you get wireless mic that you just need an app to connect to your device and from a particular range you can really pick sound so you really need a mic and yeah it's really important to get a mic when you want to create something and the right mic too you won't want to like do something and be holding a mic like this but shall it, it depends on what kind of content you're creating though so yeah. also you also need a little setup like you need a system like a laptop it can be a mac or any other laptop of your choice but i go with a mac because i shoot with an iphone and to transfer my files to the macbook it's very easy for me and <clears throat> there are editing apps that are very free and easy to get on a macbook compared to other devices so i actually prefer a macbook because it my editing device i downloaded it free from app store on my macbook so it's very easy to use for me and comfortable and very simple to edit because when it gets to editing it's kind of frustrating like you spending a whole time creating content and when it comes now to editing you start finding difficulties it's kind of very frustrating so i go with a macbook it's you can go with something else but for me i use a macbook because it's very simple and it works perfectly for me <clears throat> so you will also need a tripod where you can place your phone because one of the difficulties about shooting videos taking photos and stuff like that it's kind of frustrating because 
as a beginner you don't hire you can't afford to hire someone so you really need like to there are a lot of stuff you cover on your own like shoot on this video now i don't need anyone to like do it for me i do it on my own so i didn't have a tripod i place my phone like i position my phone the way i want it to like the angles and everything the positioning and everything i want for the video how i want it to look like so i just place my phone in that particular direction and i'm shooting so you definitely need a tripod something reliable that can last you for long it's not expensive there are a lot out there so you can get any so for a tri tripod is really actually very important all right so after mentioning a phone a laptop a tripod and yeah so the next thing i think you like uh, you want like you want a position location a position a particular setup in your apartment or some anywhere of your choice but it should be somewhere very quiet and somewhere that you really get access to a lot of lights like lightning is very important when it comes to shooting video if you someone has been taking photos you've been taking you'll be shooting videos you understand light is something very very important when it comes to shooting you understand for me i try a lot of times like to get light from places like to shoot in the night but it's kind of like for now it's difficult for me to really use other lights so i go with daylight so you might want to place your, your camera like want to place your camera in a direction that light really reflects like where i'm shooting right now i have lights from the back so where light really reflects so you're gonna have the really like and it depends the time of the day you're shooting sometimes i shoot in the morning and around in the evening when sun, during such sunset when you call a golden hour that's when i actually shoot in the evening so you might really want to you want to set up you want to position you want like to really get access to light so it's very very important when it comes to content create when it comes to shooting videos because no matter how good how good your camera is and stuff if you don't really have the right light your video is not gonna come out nice like it's really not gonna look nice you really need to light light it is really really important when so after putting all those things together after putting on all those things together you want to get into shooting like i said when it comes to shooting videos for youtube you have to put your phone horizontally so you're gonna place your phone in the right direction and the next thing boom start shooting maybe you you got your stuff jotted down somewhere or in your head or anywhere i don't know you want to start bringing out what you have inside what you want the kind of message you want to say and when it comes to like when you're shooting sometimes you can like speak from the beginning to the end of the video or you want to like put stuff like the way you arrange them in your head so you want to shoot and stop and continue so you now have to like know how you arrange your materials know how you might arrange your materials because it's always a big problem when you want to edit it's always a problem when you want to edit so always know and know how to arrange your, your stuffs it's really important because we sometimes i really find a lot of difficulties when i'm trying to edit and uh, it's not working i'm like where did i keep this file where was next you understand so it's kind of difficult always know how to arrange your stuff so you won't have difficulties when you edit it so, <clears throat> my most asked question at time is what is the app you use to edit your videos i've been asked a couple of times from different people what is the app you use to edit your videos well I just want to answer this question today so like save a lot you get so um, when I started I used to use iMovie like I said everything I use is on um, it's easier from my MacBook you understand because I go I download them from App Store so before when I started I used to use iMovie I kind of use iMovie like a beginner I studied the environment and everything so kind of easy with time so I found out like it didn't really have everything i wanted so i now decided like i went on like to researching research more advanced app which are really free on on macbook which are really free that i can really use to edit and stuff really comes out nice so i went on 
research, did my research, and I came across a couple of software like you have DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is kind of very cool app, have great features, but it's very very complicated. So I try to study the surface and everything was kind of stressing me a couple of my stuff that I do around. So. I really don't have a lot of times to study it but i think after this app i'm using i'm gonna like upgrade to it but presently right now i actually use vn video editor i use vn it's just when you go like on app store just type vn video editor vn so it's gonna pop out that's what i actually use it's really actually very simple to, to to use especially when you do when you create videos just in normal videos for youtube so i think you really have a lot of features very nice features and it's very easy to use so i actually use vn i use vn for my video stuff and everything so so another question i want to like another ask question i want to deal with is um it kind of asks me where did you get sounds you use for your youtube video without getting copyright claims actually um it's really difficult to really like get cool music without youtube giving you a heads up like your video might be taken down for copyright claims you understand so it was kind of difficult so i also did a lot of research and uh I came through like some couple sites like you can also get sound from YouTube um, YouTube and um, audio library YouTube audio library you can get sounds from there but sometimes you might not be comfortable with the sound so I was also like <clears throat> there are some YouTube pages that drop channels that drop sounds like on a daily they drop sounds on a daily so you can get that on vlog no copyright music vlog no copyright music that's where actually there are lots of cool songs and I use them because when it's re written vlog no copyright music it means they are copyright claims free you can actually use them for your YouTube video and YouTube will not come to you and like you're like violating our policies and stuff like that you don't get so I get music sometimes from audio library YouTube audio library and uh, and vlog no copyright music so that's where I get my music from so that is that for the video well I don't want to keep it too long actually I just wanted to ask some questions being asked from people around and yeah so I'm, I don't want to like break stuff really down like how I edit how I record and all that so it's really gonna take a whole lot of times but you can still do a whole lot of researches so i've kind of like touched what's more important like how i get them done and how i really get stuff from other sources so that is that for the video hope it was useful to you and uh, i'll say thank you all again for the support and everything you've been showing to me so keep the positive energy burning and keep liking sharing subscribing keep pushing me out there so we can grow together so thanks for watching again once more and hope to see you again in another video stay blessed